It's Wednesday, February 17th. I'm Marcel Fontenot. Lots to tell you about from our newsroom for this winter blast that seems to not want to end. First, school closures. Many public, private, and charter schools will be closing tomorrow. St. Mary Parish Public Schools, the only ones in Acadiana that will be open. Here's a list, parish by parish, of closures. You will notice Vermilion Parish is closed both tomorrow and Friday. We also know all dioceses of Lafayette schools are closed. Lafayette Christian Academy will not have classes tomorrow or Friday. There are other private schools and daycares not opening tomorrow. You can find that information at KTC.com slash school closures. There will be no classes at LSUE. However, school will be in session at UL. Those who are unable to attend are being asked to contact their instructors. Well, I-10 between Baton Rouge Lafayette now open to drivers again. Parts of the interstate and I-12 in Baton Rouge were reopened in phases this afternoon. State police encouraging drivers to use extreme caution on the road if you must travel at all. Once again tonight, if you are an LUS, Slimco, Clico, or Intergy customer, you are asked to conserve your electricity. The companies are asking all customers to limit usage between 10 o'clock tonight and any time you're at home, not using any unnecessary electronics. This is because of the high demand on the state's electric grid. The cold weather causing coronavirus vaccine shipments to be delayed. According to the Department of Health, this week's shipments were affected by the slowdown. If you made an appointment this week, you're encouraged to double check with your provider. Well, turning to weather now, Rob, many days ahead with warmer temperatures heading our way, fingers crossed, right? Yeah, and about a, give us about a week, but in the near term, winter is still here. The rain's though moving out. That's the good news for Acadiana, but we stick with cloud cover temperatures near freezing in the morning, and we stay in the 30s most of the day tomorrow. I don't think we see too many breaks in the clouds, and there might be some misty sprinkles out there as well, maybe a snowflake or two, but not, don't get too excited about any more winter precipitation. We're done with that, but not the cold weather. We stay in the 30s Thursday. Wind chills stay in the 20s, down to 25 for Friday morning, 23 Saturday morning, so a couple of more hard freezes, and then temperatures beginning to moderate into the weekend. Weak front coming in early Monday. After that, it looks like we turn the corner on winter and head towards spring with a spring thaw for next weekend. That's it for weather and news for now. Thanks for watching.